What happens during labor, stages 2 and 3? Labor or childbirth has three stages, stage 2 starts once your cervix is fully dilated. It ends with the birth of your baby, stage 3 starts after your baby is born. What happens in stage 2? Most likely your baby will be born through your vagina or birth canal. It is the natural and preferred method. It may take you from 20 minutes to a couple hours to give birth to your baby. It often takes longer if you're having your first child, in stage 2, you will probably be asked to push during each contraction doing so helps move your baby down the birth canal during this stage. You may want to try different positions such as squatting or sitting to find what's most comfortable for you. Your labor coach can also help you with your breathing and relaxation exercises. Once your baby's head appears, which is called crowning your healthcare provider will help guide your baby out. After you have given birth, the umbilical cord will be cut. If you need help, sometimes certain procedures may be done to help with childbirth. For example, you may need an epispoph if your baby's head is unable to go through your vagina without causing the skin or muscle to tear at the opening, or your healthcare provider may use for steps which are spoon-shaped instruments or vacuum caps placed on your baby's head to help deliver your baby. Caesarean section or C-section is the surgical delivery of your baby through a cut made in your abdomen and uterus. It may be needed when certain conditions make vaginal delivery and wise. C-section is a safe birthing option that seldom causes major problems, but recovery time after a C-section may be longer and harder than after a vaginal delivery. What happens in stage 3? After you have your baby, you will enter stage 3 of childbirth. This is the shortest stage, it can last from 5 to 30 minutes. During this time your uterus continues to contract but causes less pain. These contractions help you deliver the placenta or afterbirth. The placenta is the organ that has provided food and oxygen through the umbilical cord to your baby. At this stage, you will be able to hold your baby. You may also start breastfeeding if you plan to do so.